What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 68, and happy Wednesday to everybody out there in the Wednesday verse. We're gonna be using the same OU Sand team that we've been kinda using all week. We haven't been using it all week, we haven't been kinda using it all week. Um so far I'm pretty pleased with the success of the Sand team, just because like obviously it has won all of its ma matches, and I think I know this guy. Um but I mean, I think that this also looks like an OLT team. I feel like I saw this in an OLT match. It was either OT, OLT or SPL, I can't remember. But um, He gets pressured pretty hard by Thundee. He's probably running Mix but F Hippo, because uh, he is pretty weak to Thundee. Um, especially if it does carry Psychic, then he gets blown back. Um, but right here, I think he's going to probably lead with Hippo. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and lead with uh, Keldeo straight away. Uh, because I can get a nice Scald on something. Um, if that is the action that I choose uh, to proceed with. Uh, as he leads with Venusaur, so a good play on his part. Um, I'm kind of terrified of the sleep powder, not gonna lie, um, because I feel like he'd have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and sack Lottie, potentially to sleep, um, not necessarily just straight up sack Lottie, um, but, I mean, if he does have sleep powder, I'd rather have Lottie go to sleep than Mega Metagross, because Mega Metagross, I think, is a lot better versus his team, um, as he ends up going for the Sludge Bomb, doing a lot of damage. Thankfully, I don't get poisoned. And uh, right here, I think I'm just going to go straight away for the Psy Shock. If he does go out in a Hippo, I do have Surf, uh, which is really nice. And if he goes out into Starmie, then I'll be a little bit a little bit disappointed I didn't click Draco. Um, but then, you know, it, it's not too big of an issue. Um, looking at how I can win this game, um, he does have Hippo, so if I can uh, use... Oh, that was... That was a disappointment. <laughs> um, I kind of just want to drop a Draco right here. Um, predicting him the pursuit or predicting him to U-turn. I don't really want to lose momentum. Actually, Surf would be stronger, but I'm probably going for Draco anyway because it's showdown lag. But it's okay. I should think before I click my moves. Um, so I end up getting a nice 55% off with that as he does go for the pursuit. So I'm glad I made that play as opposed to the other play. Um, but right here, I can just go out into Metagross and... Um, be really, really casual about the fact that I have Grass Knot, and I'm gonna try not to let him know that I have Grass Knot. I'm just gonna Mega Evolve, I'm gonna go straight away for the EQ, if it goes out in a Skarmory, it's fine, I can just go straight out into Keldeo, and start clicking Scald, um, and try to get some burns off on his team, because that will actually be really, really, really handy, in wearing down Mega Metagross. Um, so he goes out in a Skarm right here, which is fine, um, and I'm actually gonna go out into Thunderous, as opposed to the other thing, because... Um, I think I can get an SD off versus Skarmory later in the game, or <laughs> not versus Skarmory, versus uh, Scizor, uh, late game, as he goes for a spike right here, which is fine with me. Um, I think right here, I'm gonna make the double into Metagross, predicting Mega Venusaur. I could just go for the T-Bolt right here and try to make the safe play, but I'm just, like, that's like the safe play, but my, I think my best play is doubling the Metagross. And I think the biggest downfall of me playing offense without a suicide lead is that I really don't get my rocks up that often. Um, <laughs> Geo, look out, your opponent has lost 770 battles. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, I'm just going to go straight away for the Zen Headbutt right here. Um, just because I do want to break Skarmory's 30 if it does come in, and then I will be more free to fire off Scalds with uh, Keldeo. Uh, because he will have to roost the following turn. Um, and this is where I wish I had Thunder Punch, but he also has Rocky Helmet, which is lame. Um, so I kind of anticipate him to set up another spike right here. Um, but you know, I don't really care. I can just, um, click Scald, uh, versus anything on his team and put a, put a dent in it. Hopefully get a burn. Uh, if I don't get a burn, it's not the end of the world. Um, uh, it's just a lot more helpful to have versus, um versus Venusaur, um, especially since I don't have Psychic on Thundee, I chose Focus Blast over Psychic because I do need more ways to uh, wear down stuff like Ferrothorn, um, but yeah, once I get to plus two, I should be okay if I can weaken Hip Out on, um, which shouldn't be too hard if I can, uh, like, he actually has a very formidable wall core right here, so he goes for another spike, which is easy, um, and I can just click Scald, 
as I was talking about earlier, I'm going to go ahead and start the timer too, because I don't want these matches being too long. I know I'm probably only going to get one because this is OU. Things do tend to last pretty long, and um, I'm higher up on the ladder on OU than I am on any of my other accounts. By no means am I like super high on the ladder. I'm only like mid-1500s, um, but you know, if I can... But, like, players on the higher ladder tend to think a little bit more, so can I get a burn? I get a crit? I, and I get a burn. That's nice. <laughs> so this pretty much forces him to synthesis right here. I doubt he's going for HP fire, so I'm just going to go straight out into Metagross. Um, which, what does suck is that uh, I'm, I've been taking a lot of residual damage, um, which means uh, he's, he's, like, definitely limiting my switch in opportunities, especially since I sacked Latios earlier in the game. Um... In reality, I probably should have gone for Surf versus uh, Venusaur the first time, but uh, you know, hindsight is 50-50. Uh, he does go for the synth synthesis right here, and um, I think right here I'm just going to go straight back out into my Thunderous. Um, I have made this play before, and if I do overpredict and get hit with a Sludge Bomb, that actually sucks, and I think that like guarantees me losing the game. Um, just because it'll be hard to play back around that, but I don't think he can risk it. Uh, he doesn't end up risking it, which is nice. Um, I can just go straight away for a T-Bolt right here, because um, I have been kind of doubling around following a pattern, and now is the time where I feel pretty comfortable breaking this pattern, hopefully getting rid of Skarmory. Um, but he goes out into Hippo right here, which is A-OK, -okay, um, because right here I'm just going... I really want to double into meta predicting him to get up his rocks, which, which I think I'm going to do, um, and oh, this is just a bad situation, <laughs> um, so don't EQ, don't EQ, he goes for the toxic, which is fine, I'm just going to go for the grass knot, uh, hopefully he stays in, and uh, lets me weaken this thing a little bit, um, he's probably like, oh, why did he make this play, I can, like, he's not going to be able to do a lot to me with Meteor Mash, um, he doubles out in a Skarmory, though, that's unfortunate. I wish I had Thunder Punch right now. Um, I'm gonna try to flinch him with Zen Headbutt, um, because I die to, like, spikes plus any damage at all, uh, versus his team, and as long as he has this around, it's gonna be a lot harder. And, uh, just, like, getting off damage is nice. If I can, uh, flinch him with not the first Zen Headbutt, but the second Zen Headbutt, that'd be very nice. And, um... You know, this is kind of a hard battle for me to win, to be honest. His wall core is just too much. It's too much. He ends up going for a spike right there. Come on. Come on. Dude, yeah, I, I just need... Like, I, I understand I got the crit crit burn earlier. So if I don't get the flinch, like I completely understand why. Um, he also won't be at full, which is nice. As long as I hit this, uh, hit this right here, which I do. I get a crit. Do I get a flinch? That'd be pretty sick if I got a flinch. I don't, but it's okay. Um, because I can just go out into Keldeo right here, and, um, I think now I have to start clicking Hydro. Because Specs Hydro should do, like, 40% to Mega Venusaur. Um, so I can potentially threaten him with a 2-hit KO. Um, because it'll do 40% plus 12% burn, which will do 92. So hopefully I can hit both of my Hydros and uh, get rid of this Megasaur, which would be amazing. Um, he'll probably just go out into, uh... Starmie right here, because that's also a nice resist for him. Um, ugh, this battle is, like, grossly unwinnable for me right now. <laughs> um, like, don't get me wrong, I still think I can win, but it revolves around me, like, flinching him with a plus two iron head, and getting the plus two is hard versus his team. Um, so he goes out into Starmie right here, and uh, is going to take 59% from that, so I think he will have to recover or go for the Psychic type move right here. Uh, both of which are a lot easier for me because I can just go out into my uh, my Toontar, Toontar please, and uh, try to trap him. That was dumb. <laughs> I can also get up my Stealth Rocks, which I should have done like far earlier because Keldeo does actually put a lot of pressure on his team. Um, and I can threaten him out with the Pursuit, or I can threaten him with the Pursuit rather. So, um, you know, uh, we're probably going to... Nah, we, we won't pause it. We'll wait for this guy to come back. Um, and, you know, the Megasaur is a threat to this team. I should probably not have... Like, Megasaur plus Skarmory is just a really annoying core. Um, but he ends up going for the recover right here, which is fine. Um, I'm clicking Pursuit. I understand he can click Hydro. 
Um, but I need damage off on this right now, and this is gonna do a lot, except if he's like bulky reflect type. If he's bulky reflect type, well, he's not bulky reflect type because specs hydro, specs hydro did 60%. Um, so he may just predict me to get my rocks up here as he switches his spinner out, which would be great. Um, like I, this thing gone helps me a lot because it's one less thing that threatens driller. And then I can just spam Hydro versus a lot of his team, to be honest. Um, he does end up going for the Hydro and knocks me out, which is unfortunate. Um, so I think right here, he's not yet in range of EQ, depending on how much bulk he's running. So I gotta go out into... Um, I gotta go out into Thunderous and hope that he is running Dual Stab Recover Spin and not Ice Beam. Um... It's kind of a crappy situation, um, but you know, uh, that that's part of Pokemon, that's definitely like team matchup. It happened uh, in episode 66, if you guys missed that. Uh, so he is running dual stab, but I will go down to, -bo or to life work plus sand, I think, maybe. Wow, I was like left on 6% exactly, so uh, right here, I think I have to go out and kill Leo. Um, just because Keldeo beats every one of, like, Specs Hydro 2 at KOs pretty much every member of his team. Uh, bar the uh, Bar the Tornadus, which will outspeed me, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, and also, Synthesis is hampered by the sand, which is very nice for me. So, uh, hopefully, I can use that to my advantage. He goes out in a tornado, of course. Um, so, I gotta hope he like misses a hurricane here as I fire off a Specs Hydro. And, you know, uh, some battles. You like, you win some, you lose some. I understand that. Um, so if I do end up taking an L in this one, it's understood. Um, we have had some pretty nice success so far this week. So, you know, the law of averages says that's going to happen eventually. And he's life orb, meaning he does have superpower. Um, I think my only play, though, is the SD and try to flinch out the rest of his team. Um, like, it could happen. It's not likely. It could happen. <laughs> um... Just because, like, I, I think his best play would actually be to switch Torn out right here. Um, so I don't knock him out with the Rock Slide, which he does end up doing, is I end up getting an, uh, an SD off. So I need a Rock Slide flinch. That's, like, step one to me winning this game. I also need to, like, crit his um, Hippo. Like, crit flinch his Hippo at least once. Um, so... Rock Slide did 31%, and he just goes for the Brave Bird. Good play, breaking my thing. And uh, taking some recoil damage, actually, so... This has a chance to flinch. 30% chance, 30% chance. This is stronger, I believe. Because Steel resists Steel, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Rock Slide again. I do need the flinch in order to have any sort of shot, but at this point, um, as long as he is packing the... Uh, Superpower, he has won the game with uh, Tornadus, and I think he has because he is a Life Orb variant. Um, so flinch, no flinch, but uh, he gets off another 25%, um, which will probably make the difference between uh, like Hurricane. It, it may make the difference between Bullet Punch plus Hurricane knocking me out, which could be bad, but you know it's okay. <laughs> um, hopefully he okay. He goes into Hippo right here, so I got to get a couple of flinches. Um, hopefully he's Spideff Hippo because he is. Uh, he's probably mixed defense Hippo though, like 172 Spideff, um, just because he is Spideff Megasaur and physically defensive Skarmory. So, um, you know, even though we didn't get a win, I feel pretty happy with the way that I played um, like I, I clearly could have played better but I think that a lot of it contributed to how well he how well his wall core was constructed versus my team and the fact that I didn't have psychic really hurt me but you know uh, you certainly win some you lose some so if you guys did enjoy today's episode please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for, for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel also make sure to answer today's comment question of the video which is, um, you know, I haven't actually used Megasaur in Oras. Uh, have you guys used it yet? And uh, how does it stack up with all the new Megas in the mix? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.